basically research objectives. Uh, when you are doing your PhD, you must need to uh, have your research objectives. So what I want to recommend that uh, uh, when I met with one student um, in the university, so he uh, wrote nine objectives there and uh, I told him that, come on, how are you going to achieve all these nine objectives? So um, uh, he told me that, sir, I don't know what to do, but my sir told me that uh, you write nine objectives. So what I mean to tell you that a research objective, at least three or four, not more than that, two, three, and four. These are the optimum and best uh, numbers uh, for your research objectives. Because how are you going to achieve nine objectives? Nine objectives is a very um, large work you have to do to achieve those objectives. So now let's come to the point that what is research objectives? Look, uh, in my previous video, I define problem statement. What is problem statement? Uh, you find some gap in the literature. S if someone working in a particular field and uh, they develop something but there is still a problem there is still a defect uh, there is still a weakness or less efficient so that is a gap when you find the gap uh, for instance uh, you study a uh, large number of uh, literature and large number of paper and you find out your gap your problem and you define that as a statement you write a statement about that a uh, few lines or few uh, one program and now how are you going to fill that gap for example uh, uh, there is a circle here and uh, uh, there is one one uh, ball are lying on that circle but one ball is missing there this means that you are going to fill that ball that place then the then the research will be complete so this means that uh, when you find the gap, the problem statement, now you are going to solve that problem. You are going to fill that gap. For that purpose, you uh, define your objectives that what I will do, what I have to do to achieve that um, success, to solve that problem, to fill that gap. That is we call research objectives. Okay. So research objective basically people define main objective or broad objective and the other are called specific objective this is the broad objective here you see the broad objective and the specific objectives so these are the specific objectives so let's what the broad objective the broad objective means that you tell the audience the readers that what broadly i am going to achieve and what broadly I have to do to reach my goal to solve that problem to fill that gap and specific mean what are the small small things I have to do to reach that particular target to reach that situation where the problem has been solved so let's see read my uh, broad objective broad objective of this research is to develop to synthesize SNA2 nanomorphologies you see nanomorphologies, <laughs> not one. This means so many. With large surface area, I am telling you, this is one good point, large surface area. Superior light scattering properties, you see this is, I am talking about another good properties. And crystallinity, also crystallinity, which support charge mobility. High electron mobility, you see, another very nice point. And it's composite with other photo anode material. I'm also telling the audience that I will make composite, typically titania, in order to develop high efficient dye sensitized solar cell. It's very clear. This means that I'm going to develop tenoxide nanomorphology. Why I want this material? Previously, I explained that there are some advantages of this material as compared to titania. And some good advantages of this and some good advantages of this. I am making a composite. You see, I am mixing these two. So I will uh, uh, get the desired property. So now my broad objective is very simple here. And it can be seen that uh, 
I have to achieve this thing. Nenu morphologies which has high large surface area, superior scattering property, crestinity, etc. Now, in specific objective, I am going to split basically. I am going to split basically the above thing into small, small. Now, let's come to specific objectives. Number one, I have three objectives. To develop an exciting nanostructure morphology with large specific surface area, high electron mobility, and desirable light scattering property. I am going to develop to synthesize to produce 10 oxide nanostructure morphology if it is one dimensional if it is three dimensional if it is nano rod if it is sphere if it is particles which have these kind of things number second objective to fabricate 10 oxide based density when i synthesize these uh, 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 nanostructures so i'm not i'm not going to keep it there I have to put that material in some device and that is my target. I want to improve the efficiency of a device. So I will take those nanomorphologies of tinoxide and I will use it as a photo unit and disensitized solar seal. This is my uh, uh, second objective and I am not going just to put as I told that I will get many nan nanomorphology so when I get many nanomorphology so this means that i got nano rod i got nano particles i got nano flower i got uh, spheres i got hollow spheres i got nano tubes then i will take all those nanostructure morphology and i will test those as a, a photo anode for a sensitized solar seal and i will compare their performance their charge transport properties you see this is my next uh, objective very nice and as i told that 10 oxide have some good property and titania have some good property so what i am doing to do the second objective was pristine 10 oxide pure 10 oxide based solar seal now i am going to explain and find the third one is to tailor the photovoltaic parameters of xno2 nanostructure by combining the property of the other photo inert material typically titania you see now i am making a composite uh, photo inert or working electrode for a disensitized solar cell in order to improve the efficiency of a pure uh, 10 oxide i hope research objectives are very clear and very clearly and succinctly defined and i differentiate between the broad objective or the main objective you can also write the main main objective main objective of this study a broad objective study and the specific objective of these studies are follow in order to achieve the main specific objective you see i write here main here <laughs> to, to achieve the broad you can also write here the broad scientific objectives so i hope it's very clear do not keep your objectives more because if you keep these uh, more the examiner will ask so many questions in defending your work and it's also problematic to achieve all those objectives and it also not seems reasonable that how are you going to achieve those objectives because for these ob achieving these objectives you need resources and that is called scope of the study i will differentiate between scope of the study and objectives people confuse these two words uh, scope is basically what you are going to reach your objective you are going to reach that target for that a path is you are going to follow that is the scope and next video i'll explain what is scope of the study thanks for watching